guys. I've got a cold cup of tea and I'm having a, a, an Opus Magnum adventure. And I can deal with one of those quite simply by drinking the cold cup of tea. Maybe using some alchemical fire to improve the flavour. Actually, that's not bad. I, I mean, it's in a little thermos. Uh, I'm also playing a game, which I, I'm hoping you clicked on the video for. Uh, I'm going to make some face powder. So, uh, have you seen Lady Van Tassen recently? A few days ago, why? Did you notice how pale her face is? Oh, she's well known for her pallor. Why did someone ask you to do something about it? Armand himself did. It seems it's gotten worse lately. People are whispering about her health. That's unfortunate. The lady hasn't had an easy time of things. I'd hate to see her slandered on top of it. Well, let's make her some face powder. That will at least stop the rumours and slandering and all that business. So, so to make face powder, that's um, it's salt and alchemical earth. Of course it is. Of course it is. Of course it is. Uh, bit of a shame that my I'm in a square right here. I'm not not in a hexagon. Anyway, is this not just the same as the last puzzle, but less? Can I do that? Can I open up a previous puzzle? Um, hang on. So if I go into the find goal, look at my solution, and I copy it. Copy. Face powder. I can't. I'm sure there's a way to do that. I appreciate it wasn't terribly complicated. This is going to be more of an issue later on. To be fair, I guess the reason I couldn't is because... Where am I getting... Here's my... How do I get salt again? Oh, of course. Oh, this. No, yeah, sorry, I got that completely confused. Okay, that should be pretty simple. Should be pretty simple. Yeah, we only need this. So. We just want to fix the length arm. And what do we want to do with it? We want to grab that. We do it like that. So. Grab. Oh, it needs to be bonded. Okay. Do the same thing. So. Yeah, I'm going to win on a couple of fronts. I'm going to do it all within this square. Like that. I'm going to move that away from the front. So I grab. Move two times. I think I'm adding too many cycles, but let's go for it anyway. We rotate twice. Drop instruction. We go back. Those armor tends to have pivots. Grab one, two, rotate three times. Uh, 
Um, let's see what happens. Oh, there's a ghost bun, isn't there? It's not. Ghost bun. I think this was designed like that. So, yeah, it actually did. It automatically bonded. That automatically put it away. No, so I need to press stop. Press if I drop even. And then. I should do it. There we go. Look at my area. It's just a seven. Now I'm winning on area, but probably not on other things. I, I feel like it's pretty elegant. Okay. So I'm cheaper than the Mighty Clunk. It's taking me more cycles. But my area is tiny. Look at my area. So as long as I'm beating Mighty Clunk on two punts, I'm I'm pretty happy with that. But I do appreciate you could very easily do that in less cycles. Very easily. Uh, I'm just going to click on continue editing, just have a look at that. Because there's a lot of wasted motion. I feel like there could be a way. Not with just the one. Looks pretty efficient, doesn't it? Do it. Um, you know what? I'm going to keep it. As I said, I'm beating Clunk on two fronts. So as as long as I am, that's that's fine. So let's stop. How's that? So. This should help the lady's face look less pale. Though it's quite a superficial solution. Who can really say what troubles Lady Van Tassen? It's not for us to know. Have you ever heard her speak? She didn't say a word during the dinner I went to. I remember her speaking to me once or twice when I was a child. Odd. Just another one of the many Van Tassen mysteries, I suppose. One gets used to them after a while. Right. And John Fox and Tony Jumble West. I've been having a Opus Magnum adventure. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.